I recently purchased the Asus ROG Ally to play some games of course and I was wondering if I could get some productive work done with the ROG Ally as I didn't want to feel guilty and get into depression realizing I spent my money on unnecessary stuff. So I thought why not edit videos on the Asus ROG Ally and get some creative work done. The ROG Ally comes with Windows 11 pre-installed so I straight away installed Premiere Pro as well as DaVinci Resolve so I'll be basically fixing the color of my video in that. I should actually start using DaVinci Resolve as my main editor but we'll leave that for some other video. So in case you are new over here, hey guys, my name is Prith Viraj. I'm an electronic music producer, a part-time gamer, and I also try to make videos. I can't really imagine myself using the touch screen to edit my videos. The touch screen on Windows is actually ultra legendary on top of that. You can actually connect the ROG Ally to an external monitor using the HDMI cable. But for this one, we'll be just connecting a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. And thankfully, it has a full HD display with 120 Hz. So I guess we can get the job done quite nicely over here. So for this test, I'll be basically editing two videos of mine. So one of my videos will have multiple layers and another stuff that I'll be doing on Premiere. And for the second one, I'll actually be fixing the color on DaVinci Resolve and see how it turns out. So basically, I've decided that I'll be transferring all the footages from Google Drive because, you know, adding a USB to this is a very big headache. So I didn't want to take that. And also, I'm using it on this turbo mode, the 30 watts turbo mode that it has. So I'm starting the edit around 2 p.m. So let me see how long it actually takes. So before that, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and download the files and then import it. So for the first video, we'll be just editing the entire thing on Premiere. Like it's, it's going to be a multiple layer clip video. And for the second one, I'm just going to fix the color using DaVinci. And I'm not really proficient with that. And on top of that, I have to edit over here. So firstly, let's just quickly import all the footages. So this is how it looks. It's basically a clip of me DJing. So we just have to organize it. So our basic task for this video is that we'll have to organize it and then just sync with the audio over here. And also for the next video, let's just quickly open and import the video first. Although we'll be working on this later, but let's just open DaVinci and it looks really scary to be honest. When I open DaVinci for the first time over here, just take a look yourself. Actually, while shooting this video the last day, I made a mistake that it was really dark. I did not check the contrast and everything. And the clip turned out to be really dark. So it was really sad, but it worked in my favor because I can, I'll be able to explain how this works actually. So let me just import them real quick. And we have the footages over here. So as you can see, it will be so damn dark. I really completely underexposed this footage and uh, the ISO was totally messed up. So we have to fix this in color. So for the first one, I'll be just syncing the first video and then we'll be fixing the color over here in DaVinci. So that's going to be a real hassle. But for now, let's switch to Premiere and complete that part. So I have spent almost three hours editing this. It's currently 5.30 PM. So this is how it looks like at, at this very moment. So we had to make some random cuts everywhere and also adjusted the color a bit. It did not do much, just a simple color correction, no grading and all. And to be honest, the clippings was so tough to do. Basically, I had to zoom in so much and the Premiere being Premiere, it was lagging so much, especially when I was adjusting all the windows that is there. So when I basically tried to add some transitions and stuff, it was like stuttering so much for a moment, it freezed totally. So I, I don't know who to blame for this. Do I blame Windows or Premiere or Asus for this? I don't know whose fault that is, that it's not optimized totally. But more or less the thing that uh, bugged me the most was the screen size. So I should have just hooked it up with the HDMI. So I basically had to zoom in completely to see how things are and had to see myself this small. And also at times when I had to do all those minute edits and stuff, so I basically had to take my face inside. But thankfully we have our keyboard else. It would have been so much difficult without the keyboard shortcuts. As of now, I did not see any uh, any such issue over that but I think uh, the next video we have is actually a 4k footage so I really doubt like how much is it gonna be optimized for that and that too in DaVinci especially when we do so much color I'll just uh, leave a render of this edit so you can judge like how well did I do on this device Premiere by default has a very bad curve system like well color grading so I kind of face some issues while like selecting all those minute details like if I wanted to uh, increase the luminescence of my face so the selection part was really weird but other than that I think it took me most time because of the fact that it's such a small screen so leaving that aside i don't think it uh, bugged that much off like occasionally i have to restart my project because sometimes it will just go to straight up not responding so i again don't know who to blame for this so overall the editing experience was i don't know it's simply weird <laughs> If I leave the size of the screen aside, the display is actually really nice. I was able to like tally everything the way I wanted to. At first, I thought that I should actually connect my earphones to it or at least my headphones because you do have a headphone jack over there. But just take a look at the speakers, just recording from my microphone only. I didn't really need to like connect anything for that. The audio was that good from this device. So yeah, props to Asus for that. Making those minute cuts over here in Premiere was a little bit challenging task because most of the time the taskbar often used to come up and 
we got we have windows to blame for that but as we opened davinci everything kind of got messed up like i was trying to fix this color and especially a 4k video at 30 fps and the thing is that in davinci you have this problem that the screen is too small the color window is too damn small so i just had to press p again and again to just adjust the color so firstly since it was underexposed i had to like fix the exposure but for that i was just making the minute adjustments to the curve again and again and then i have to press p to make it full screen and see how things are working out like if i want to decrease it then i have to i can't really tally it from here so every time i had to press p on my keyboard cuz you don't have any options to drag it from here that's what i'm seeing i did not know that uh, davinci did not have this option while using in such a small screen to be honest the full screen issue was the only issue kind of i faced over here cuz i had to press p again and again every time like i changed something i did not know about this but this auto sync feature is so damn nice i wish premiere had actually had this you just have to simply select the two clips and you can right click on it and select auto align clips and it automatically got synced and I never knew you could actually do that in DaVinci. So there is another reason why I should switch to DaVinci and then I remember that you can't drag it up. The color accuracy on this device is a little bit more saturated than how it should be. Like for a YouTube video you won't be facing that much of issue. You can just easily put a lot on it and just do some light tweaks and other stuff. But yeah, if you want to work seriously on this one for color stuff in DaVinci then I won't really recommend that. So I simply had to keep scrolling to find the nodes. So th yeah, that was again an issue over there. So should you use this device to actually edit your videos? The answer is no. Although you can, but I think you shouldn't <laughs> unless you're editing cat videos for TikTok then in that that case it's totally overkill you can just use any basic editor like windows movie maker for that as you see it was a rather weird experience but you can obviously get some edits done on the go the asus rog ally is actually powerful enough to edit fully fledged 4k videos if you wanted to i might actually start using this as my primary computer while traveling to be honest so would you actually edit videos on this device do let me know in your comments and if you wanted to check out some of the best video editors for ipad then click here thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos like this and i hope to see you there स्मूथ चल रहा है एंड कैमरे पे मैं बोलना चाहता तो नहीं था लेकिन मेरे पीसी से ज्यादा चुपो में सिर है